beloved of the Lord. Thank you for joining me on the Healing Streams Reflection. My title for today's post is Forsake Everything for Him. Friends, although Jesus stands humbly knocking at the door of our hearts, he has lost nothing of his royal dignity. He knows that in offering his love, he is offering the greatest blessing for time and for eternity. The greatest gift of a person or the greatest gift a person could ever desire or receive. This is why he challenges us to such radical discipleship, saying, Whoever of you does not renounce all that he has, Luke 14, 33. He who loves father or mother more than me is not worthy of me. Matthew chapter 10, verse 37. If anyone does not hate his own father and mother and even his own life, he cannot be my disciple. Luke 14, 26. Friends, when Jesus, speaking with royal dignity, makes such statement, it is essentially as a lover. He does not utter those, I mean, these words primarily as a teacher, nor even as the Lord demanding obedience. Rather, he says these words as a bridegroom. In the wedding song, song, celebrating the love between the bride and the bridegroom, the psalmist writes in Psalm number 45, 10 to 11, Hear, O daughter, consider and incline your ear. Forget your people and your father's house, and the king will desire your dignity. The bridegroom calls the bride to forget something, to leave all else behind for his sake, so that he can delight in her. We can almost hear Jesus asking, whom do you love most? Me, Jesus. All your soul, people, and things. To Jesus, this is the question that matters most. And this is why the words for my sake accompany Jesus' challenge to give up everything. The call to put with everything for his sake is understood only by the soul who loves the Lord with brighter love. If a bride truly loves her bridegroom, she's willing to leave home, career, a native land, just to be with him. Such demands are annoying, even offensive to those who do not love with bridal love. Love, however, by its very nature, is self-sacrificial. Desiring to give all for the beloved. As a loving bridegroom, Jesus has every right to ask, will you give up everything for me? Will you seek only my love and approval? Are you willing to give up your dearest and best in order to win the dearest of all? Me. And my love, am I worthy so much to you that you will give up everything for me? Is my love worth more to you than the love of people? Do you love me? Do you love me more than anything else? 
Do you love me like this? Ask Jesus. Only then will you come to know my love. Unless those who give me only a little love, whose hearts are divided. I do not reveal my heart to them. I do not lavish upon them my love and the riches of my love. They will not experience for themselves how I repay 100 fold every sacrifice. One thing, the best of both worlds, they will receive nothing. They will be satisfied neither with human love and the things of this world, no, with the divine love and gifts of the Almighty God. Beloved, how can God give the fullness of his blessing? Knowing that he only reveals himself to those who genuinely love him. And it is they who will be filled with heavenly joy, even in the midst of suffering, because the kid of heaven love itself, makes his dwelling in them. Beloved, have you ever considered the consequences for this life and the next? When you love Jesus with a divided heart, you miss out on the greatest blessing of all. And in the world to come, you will not have another chance. Only those who have loved Jesus with a single-minded devotion of a bride will be able to join in the marriage supper of the Lamb. That event of supreme joy celebrating the union of love between Jesus and his bride. The moment all heaven awaits. The bridegroom is knocking at your door. If you want to know his love, then surrender your dearest and best in order to win the dearest and the best, which is Jesus. He seeks an undivided heart. Heed his constant plea I want all of you commit everything to him. Yield to him all your thoughts and feelings, emotions, desires, and aspirations. Our love for others is to flow from our love for Jesus. Who alone is to be our first love? He lavishes his gifts on those who love him above all else. Such souls he loves with all the fullness of his love. Nothing could be greater and more blissful in heaven or on earth than knowing him and his love. But this doesn't just happen. Rather, it is the reward of those who give Jesus the all. They became and become more and more Christ centered. Every desire of their heart directed to Him. Every impulse of the will merging with His. The bride is gripped with the one longing. You shall be. my one and only love. Beloved, 
Jesus does not share his love with anyone whose commitment is half-hearted. When drawn into the orbit of Jesus' love, we want to give up everything for him. And if we ask him and trust him, then he will make us completely his. Oh, like the sun right now. Let us echo together. Oh, make me yours. Beloved Lord and Savior, that I may praise you through my life forever. Oh, make me yours. Oh, make me yours. You are my life and treasure. Oh, my life, my all to you. I now surrender. Oh, make me yours. Oh, make me yours. You died for me, dear Savior. And so my heart belongs to you forever. In gratitude. Oh, make me yours. With all I am and have, Lord. And all I value so that I may comfort you with my love. Oh, make me yours. I pray that the Lord God will make you His and that you will be His available vessel as well as useful vessel. Thanks for listening. May God richly bless you. And bye for now.